The NFT space have been feeling very slow recently, if you have noticed. However, last night, this has changed. And we're going to talk about this in this video. Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. My name is NHM and welcome to the channel. So at the time of recording this video, last night, Muri pumped up to 1.7 ETH. So what happened was the Muri reveal was going on. If you haven't heard of Muri, I'm going to show you in a bit. But Muri revealed and what happened was something very rare, which I've seen two projects only do that. Azuki and Muri. It's ironic because they look very similar. Azuki pumped after reveal. It dumped for a very short period of time and then it immediately pumped and Muri was the same thing. We're going to talk about this. We're going to discuss this and what this might mean for the whole NFT space going forward. Also, I'm going to be talking about an NFT tool that can make you so much money, almost guaranteed. And make sure you watch the whole thing because towards the end of the video, I'm going to be telling you how you guys can get a discount for this tool that has already made me money and I only installed it last night. And guys, this is no BS. I'm not paid to do this or anything. I paid out of my own money in order to use that software. And I liked it so much to the point where I reached out to the team and I was able to get you guys discounts. So stay tuned till the end of the video for that. So let's begin by talking about the overall market, taking a look at the OpenSea volume. So the monthly volume is not looking too good, even though lately for the past week, things picking back up again, beginning of the month, Things were bad. Projects were barely minting out. Some of them didn't even mint out. A lot of them mint and then they barely hold the mint price and then immediately they drop below price. Only a few anomalies were able to do well, which shows you that we are in a bear market, whatever that means. We're, the market is slow overall. There are many reasons for that. And honestly, we do deserve a bear market or somewhat of a correction after the whole pump we've seen in the past few months so take a look at the volume the volume is not looking very good overall because we're almost towards the end of the month march 21st and it's not even halfway of last month's volume so overall we're on a decline however if you take a look at the daily volume we did see a slight pump now a small correction i do hope to see this pump back up again and i think it could because of a few reasons that i want to talk about so number one is mark zuckerberg announcement so on march 16th this was published on march 16th Mark Zuckerberg talks about NFTs could be coming to Instagram in the next several months, Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg said during a talk at SXSW. So Mark Zuckerberg says that he always shops for good on Instagram. On Instagram, basically, you can shop for clothes or whatever, and he said he uses this. Obviously, it's his company, but it's fairly easy to buy stuff online. You just link your card to your account, you click buy, click on the product, you click buy now, and that's it. You're, everything is saved. Now, he wants to transform this same idea to NFTs on Instagram, which is going to be insane. And if you think about it, this is going to expose millions and hundreds of millions of members to the NFT space. And not to mention also Coinbase NFT marketplace should be launching anytime soon. Hopefully we see it soon, but this will also expose people and make it just way easier to buy NFTs with just your credit card. Because I'm pretty sure many people don't want to go through the hassle of learning how to create a MetaMask wallet, linking it to OpenSea, going through all the security measures and stuff. They just want to create a Coinbase account or already have an Instagram account, link their credit card and buy whatever they want to buy. Even though I advise against that and I think everyone should learn about MetaMask and just Web3 overall but this is a topic for another video the point is mainstream adoption can be coming very very soon how this goes pretty sure this will go well however this is going to expose a lot of projects and 99 percent of them are going to zero because not everyone is a dj like myself but uh point is this could expose nfts to so many people and i do think many projects such as the so-called blue chips are going to do extremely extremely well so before I proceed, guys, I highly recommend you guys follow me on Twitter and join my Discord because on YouTube, it takes about five hours or even a day for me to shoot and edit and upload. So you guys get the information a few hours or even a day after I film it. If you want real time access, just follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. Links are in the description. Let's keep going. Overall, this is good news. And another factor that I saw can be good news for this is if you take a look at Muri, which revealed last night, it minted about a week ago and reveal happened last night. So typically what happens is when projects mint out, they pump for a bit, then they settle down after 24 hours. And then as the reveal comes, they slowly pump towards the day of reveal. As soon as they reveal, pop, it drops. Now, what's happened with Muri is very, very interesting and it's similar to Azuki. So what happened was if you take a look at the last 30 day price action, it's just since 14 or 13th of March, Take a look at how it started. It started over there. It pumped up. One sale was at 1 ETH. That's anomaly. But it hovered around the 0 0.5, 0 0.6, even down to 0 0.25, 0 
0.3 because the whitelist mint was at 0.15 and the actual sale was at 0.3 Dutch auction it immediately sold out so it's normal to see those price ranges then it consolidated for a while about a week or so until the day of the reveal it pumped up to 0.8 and then boom, as soon as it revealed, it dropped from 0.88 down to 0.462. That was the lowest sale. Actually, we did see a sale at 0.14. There's probably a mistake or something. But 0.46 and then it pumped all the way up to 1.6. I even saw some sales for 1.7. It pumped right after the reveal. And right now it's sitting above the previous floor. If you take a look at the floor of it right now, floor is at about 0.94. If you take a look at the OpenSea, this is sometimes lagging, but floor is somewhat... 0.95 or so roughly around this range which is crazy because it's holding at 3x the price of the public sale which is just insane other than the fact that these look good in my opinion some people are comparing it to azuki and i do think that people are just worried that they would miss out just like they missed out on azuki and that's why they are buying a lot of them including myself i did buy a few and even though i was whitelisted i did buy on secondary a few rares that i was able to snipe right after the reveal and i got it for a very good price and the reason i was able to do that is because of this lovely software called nft nerds now as i said in the beginning i'm going to be sharing with you guys a tool that is amazing that already paid back for itself and that is NFT Nerds. Let's take a look at it very quickly. So NFT Nerds for me is just a sniping tool, which is just insane because overall they make it very seamless to snipe and buy NFTs very quickly, especially at times of high volume. Because if you have used OpenSea before, it takes time to update. Sometimes you see that, okay, this is at 0.95. It's very good price. And then you click on it, it says make offer, which means that it has already been sold. I always used to wonder how people were able to snipe items off the floor very quickly and I always thought they had some complex bot or something that enabled them to have this huge advantage against me but I did learn about this last night and I automatically enrolled in it and oh my god it's just amazing and the reason for that is because for example last night everything was going crazy and the reason I'm using Muri guys is because it has a lot of volume a lot of listings and sales I wanted to show you how this updates in real time so usually when I used to trade before NFT nerds what I had to open was a tab that showed the listings and then another tab with the activity to see what people are buying and selling because usually this is quicker than that on OpenSea and sometimes I just have another tab of IC tools which also shows me how everything is going because as I said OpenSea is slow and this updates even faster and we could also take a look at the chart on IC tools but NFT nerds combines all three next to each other seamlessly and I'll show you how so this shows you the listings on the left in real time so everything is updating in real time if i move my mouse it just pauses because let's say you like this one at 2.59 a rank 493 you can just buy it immediately and you can instantly buy it which is amazing you don't have to go back to OpenSea to buy or anything it's very seamless and not to mention that it shows you the rankings on OpenSea. usually the rankings take time to appear it depends on what you're using i use straight sniper the free version it's usually slower than nft nerds and this is super fast, guys. As soon as Rarities comes out, you can automatic, automatically see it and you can snipe those people who already listed and forgot that they listed or even that they're listing because they just want quick liquidity. You can take a look at the rank for 82 and just buy one. And for that reason, I was able to snipe yesterday. Amuri, with all the craziness going on, I was able to snipe a rank 500 almost for about 1.3 ETH. And right now, the floor of the whole collection is about... 0.95 which you could tell is a great deal for what i got but the point is this is very seamless everything is in real time happening right now it shows you even the trades so it shows you the trades in real time so you could take a look right now floor is about one eth which is amazing also you could take a look at the exact charts and the exact nft that was sold for example this one was sold for one eth as you could tell from the chart another beautiful thing is that they tell you the supply the number of holders the royalties if you want to obviously calculate how much profit you can make after royalties everything is put in a very nice layout as you can see right there you can also filter out traits so you can let's say you decide you want the back to have wolves for example right you just save it like this and it only shows you the listings of the things that have the wolves background guys this platform really has everything you need all in one place you don't need to go anywhere else you don't need multiple tabs you can just literally trade off of your laptop which is something that i love and just something i actually do i don't have a monitor or anything it's just my laptop and i like trading when i'm not home as well so this comes in handy very much also what i really like about this is that if you scroll down you can take a look at this chart right here now what this does it shows you the sell walls at certain prices for example 
right here you can let's say we set this to 0.1 so this is in increments of 0.1 this one is as you can see between 0.9 and 1 eighth we have 14 listings right there cumulative 14. now if you take a look at this one the wall cell wall is a bit bigger which shows you that it's a bit thicker at the 1 to 1.1 price now again if you can change the increments you could see that between 1 and 1.5 ETH we have 725 listings which shows you that this price range between 1 and 1 1.5 is very thick and it's going to be hard for you to push through it but this also shows you that once you push through this and you push through the 1.5 to 2 ETH mark then the floor is thin so let's say you get here and you feel like this is going further down and down and down then you think oh maybe I, it's time to buy because we're seeing volume and potentially we can just break out of the two eth mark because there are not many listings although there are 406 listings i'm just making a point here so very nice very customizable very user friendly i was able to use it very easily and fairly quickly usually it takes time for you to get used to a new software this was very straightforward very easy and overall i'm very satisfied with it which brings me on to the portion you guys have probably been waiting for and that is the discount of this software tool now typically this costs about 0.15 eth per month to have this tool and honestly i do agree that this is expensive at this time and with the current prices of eth this is 450 dollars a month which i do understand is a lot of money and if you want to do it for six months you would just pay 0.6 eth which is also a lot of money but for me, honestly, this paid itself back instantly. As I told you guys, I sniped a Muri off the floor for a very good price. And if I sell it right now, I can easily profit and make the money I paid back already, which is just great. Now, luckily, the team was able to give me a discount to give to you guys. And all you have to do is use the link in the description in order to receive that discount for NFT nerds. Again, guys, I can't emphasize this enough. Again, they're not paying me anything to do this. I willingly wanted to, to do this because I really like this and I think everyone should have it even though that's just going to increase competition for myself but i really liked it to the point where i had to share it with you guys so that's it guys i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like subscribe if you're new here and please make sure you join the discord so that you get everything updated very quickly and also follow my twitter that's it see you on the next one peace out